because it is a unique garment and because there are not as many people making these parkies like there used to be, there is still a demand for having that identity. There are summer parkies and then there's winter parkies. A winter parky is a coat. It's a native coat. It usually has big pockets and a hood. It's usually fairly generously made so that it can be pulled over things. A cuspuck means summer parky. It can mean the jacket style or it can mean the traditional woman's skirted style. It could be a blouse over pants or leggings. It's like a multi-purpose garment. I have been making parkies since I was old enough to touch the pedals on a commercial machine. So you want a new summer parky? I've got some really pretty fabrics. Ooh, look at how pretty for summertime. Gorgeous. Yeah? You want that one? Okay. I own Laura Wright Alaskan Parkies. I bought it from my grandma, Laura Wright, 35 years ago. She started making parkies for people in 1947 in Fairbanks. My grandma was a very big influence in my life. I spent a lot of time learning how to sew and how to cut out the parkas and how to put the trim combinations together. I spent hours and hours and hours winding trim. And I love trim. <laughs> I, I love the brightness of it. I love being able to say after every single parky that I make, I love saying, oh, this one is the prettiest one I've ever made in my whole life. It just makes the parky so beautiful to have the bright trims on it. Like this, right. where it's half under, kind of frames right. the trim. Hi. Hi, glad to have you come Thank in. You. Thank you. Your parky is you. all Wonderful. done. Look at it. There are many different types of Alaskan people. And each of the groups of people have their own individual styles that they make using materials that are indigenous to their area. In the 1900s, the government arranged to have reindeer brought to Alaska. Reindeer are domesticated caribou. And when they brought those over, they also brought the Sami people who are reindeer herders in northern Scandinavia and northern Russia to help the northern Inupiaq and Yupik peoples in how to herd the reindeer. In addition to their knowledge, they brought their beautiful, brightly colored garments. We have a lot of Russian and Scandinavian influence in our trims with the beautiful bright blues and reds and yellows and greens. I do make a lot of summer parkies for organizations, for groups. The Alaska Legislature has Cuspuck Friday, so I've made a lot of Cuspucks and sent them down. The schools in Alaska, they have Cuspuck Wednesdays, Cuspuck Fridays, just depends where the teachers and the kids wear Cuspucks. People look at them and they think, oh, you were in Alaska, you have on a, a parka, you have on a summer parky or a winter parky. So it's very distinguished. It's very much 
Alaskan made and Alaskans recognize it anywhere in the world that they go. They look at a, somebody wearing a summer parkie and go, oh, hey, you're from Alaska.